It's only gotten worse. Like, it's only gotten worse. Tarte is a makeup brand known for allegations of racism and discrimination when it comes to how they treat black influencers and cater to black clients. After multiple attempts to rectify alleged wrongdoings in the past and create a more diverse organization, Tarte once again fumbled the DEI bag. This is Bria Jones, a based social media influencer who was invited on a Tarte brand trip to F1 in Miami only to find that her invitation was not the same as the one given to white influencers who were going. She decided to publicly express her disappointment and share her lived experience with Tarte as a brand influencer. Brand founder and current CEO Maureen Kelly took to TikTok to counter Bria's lived experience and begin what she may have thought was a likable, relatable counter. To me, it just looks staged and fake. I don't know any women of Maureen's age using a grade school curler that looks like that. I am now surprised to see three things emerge from this. One, other black influencers being invited by Tarte to represent the brand immediately following what they did to Bria and accepting it. And not just other influencers, but influencers who in the past, like Specs and Blazers, fought against discrimination right here on this app. Baby, they are using you both to counter and hurt another black woman. Two, that so many black women are congratulating these creators on the Tarte trip. That black women are still following and supporting Tarte. And not just black women, but black people who are makeup in general. What must these brands do to lose our support? I, I don't get it. I'm so surprised by Bria's apology. The eye movement, the body language, to me it tells a tale. And as Paris D. Lee said, it's funny how they literally tear down a black woman and then see that people actually listen to her and take her seriously. Then they backpedal and they say it was a misunderstanding. And the thing is, they probably did make her sign an NDA, and they probably are threatening a lawsuit. So she probably had no choice but to make this apology for herself, her career, and her freedom. Look, people, don't buy Tarte. There's so many alternatives out there. From Fenty to Pattern to Sunday to Sunday to Amy Cole and to old school fashion fair that we grew up seeing in Ebony and Jet. We have to stop supporting brands that tell us they don't value us, they don't support us, and they don't want our business.